The type 2 diabetes epidemic is really a major, major public health problem. I don't think we can overemphasize it enough. Not only is there more and more type 2 diabetes in the United States and worldwide, but it's occurring in younger and younger people. So we're seeing more of it in young adults, in adolescents, and even sometimes in children. And as you think about type 2 diabetes, you have to remember that the major problems with all forms of diabetes is the risk for long-term complications. And of course, those take 15, 20, 25 years, sometimes more to show up. If you develop a disease like type 2 diabetes when you're 60 or 70 years old, in 15 or 20 years, you may have already actually died from other problems. You, you may not live to see any of the complications. But if you're 15, 20, or 25 years old, you will be 40 or 45 years old and have 25 years of diabetes and be at risk for all these long-term complications. So when we think about the public health issue, we're going to really be faced with a problem that 10 and 15 and 20 years from now, there will be a tremendous burden both on the people who have the disease and, of course, on the society to figure out how to provide health care for these people as they become at risk for these long-term complications. And what are those?